Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. I want to do a video talking about this rumor that we've been hearing involving the New Jersey Devils and the Vancouver Canucks. And it's a trade rumor that it's involving Pavel Zaka and Brock Besser. Now, I don't think this is going to be a one-for-one -one trade. It's going to be definitely other parts included. So in this video, I want to talk about it. What could the Devils possibly give up to acquire a Brock Besser? And is it worth it? Should the Devils go all in on Brock Besser knowing what his next contract's going to be? So uh, stay with me throughout. I'll talk about that all in this video. So per Frank Saravelli, the Devils have been pursuing Brock Besser for the last couple of seasons, but have not been able to get a deal done. He also hints that the New Jersey Devils still might not be done with their push. Now looking at Brock Besser, he's 24 years old, still very young. Uh, he's a right shot, right wing, which the Devils desperately need. Uh, he's 6'1", 208 pounds. He's a 2015 first-round pick, 23rd overall. And the biggest thing with Brock Besser is his contract. Um, he's currently making $5.875 million AAV with a contract that expires this season, and he's an RFA. And he has a $7.5 million qualifying offer. So it's got to be worth it for the Devils to go forward with it, to lose all these assets, and to have him as one of their next big contracts going forward. Uh, looking over at his stats this year for 2021, 2022, and at the time of me doing this video, he has 44 goals. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, 44 games played, 15 goals, 13 assists, 28 points. In 2020, 2021, he's played in 56 games, 23 goals, 26 assists, 49 points. In 2019, 2020, he's played in 57 games, 16 goals, 29 assists, 45 points. And in 2018, 2019, he's played in 69 games. 26 goals, 30 assists, 56 points. So some things to take note of this. Uh, his best season came as far as goals. In 2017, 2018, he had 29 goals. Uh, he's never played a full season. So looking by the count of his games played, it's 62, 69, 57, 56, 44. And he's been having back issues since 2018, since he had that uh, collision with uh, Cal Clutterbuck and his back went into the into the boards. Um, he's been having back issues since then. It's been highly noted and um, he's talked about it as well. And his game has changed since that back injury. So, um, you know, we have to see if this is worth it going forward. You know, the Devils do have a lot of good players coming up who are going to be on ELCs, which is good. But when they come off their ELCs, you got to see when if, if a contract like this is going to be worth it to take up one of those long-term contracts going forward and money against the cap. So, you know, looking over at what a deal might take to acquire a Brock Besser, uh, looking at past history of players of Brock Besser's magnitude, it's probably going to be a good roster player, a high first-round pick, and a really good prospect. So the Devils do have those assets to pull off a trade this time. You know, Pavel Zaka is the name that's being heavily rumored going to the Vancouver Canucks in a trade like this, whether it's Connor Garland, whether it's um, Brock Besser. He's the name that, that, that have been talked about back and forth. Uh, you're hearing a trade rumor that's even involving Ty Smith now. But, you know, looking at the the prospects that we have that are, you know, roster players, we have Yanni Kulkinen, Marion Studenich, um, Nolan Foote could be one of those names, uh, Graham Clark, uh, Fabian Zetterlund's having a really good year in Utica, uh, putting up over a point per game playing down there. Um, on defense, you have Muhammad Doolin, you have Kevin Ball, you have uh, Ahoyt Yuck. You know, so you have players that you could throw in involving a trade to, uh, you know, entice things. You know, maybe they don't go the first round pick. Maybe they throw in an extra prospect. We'll see. But, um, you know, the Devils do have a lot of good pieces. And knowing how good Utica is playing, I'm sure they're being scouted this year as potential prospects that can go in a trade the other way. And looking at uh, picks, I don't think the Devils are going to include a, um, a pick this year. Um, you know, we have the potential to get a top five pick. So... I think they hold on to it this year. If they go maybe a second round uh, this year, the Devils are one of the first teams to draft in the second round. Maybe they throw in an extra prospect if that's the case, or maybe they go next year with their first round pick instead of this year. Um, you know, and prospects. I know Vancouver wants Holtz. I know they want Luke Hughes. I know they want certain names. Uh, you know, Jack Hughes is not going anywhere. Nico Heischer is not going anywhere. Dawson Mercer is not going anywhere. And Jesper Brad needs a new deal, so I'm sure he's not going to go anywhere. But those are kind of the untouchables of the Devils. I, don't, I, I can almost 100% guarantee we're not including. So I know Vancouver Canucks want Holtz. They want Luke Hughes. But I can almost guarantee they're not going to be included in this deal or else Fitzgerald hangs up. Um, you know, so looking over at what was said on 
TSN, uh, Sportsnet uh, 650, Dan Riccio and Randy Jonda were talking about uh, Brock Besser a lot. And they spoke on what a new deal might be going forward. Will it be 6 times 5? Will it be 6 times 6? Will it be 6.5 times 5? 6.5 times 6? So you're kind of looking at a new deal like that for any team that's going to acquire uh, Brock Besser for a contract going forward. Um, you know, they also went in to say that he's been, not been the same player. He's still a really good player, but he's not been the same since his injury. His shot has not been the same. His speed hasn't been the same, but he's still a highly productive player. Especially looking at since uh, Bruce Boudreau took over, he's been a really good player. And, you know, his, his points per game and his goals have really gone up since then. He's playing a different style in the Boudreau, and he's really clicking with them. So, you know, they also talked about Connor Garland and how he might be the more um, the more attractive forward uh, in regards to these trade rumors. His contract is better going forward. He's locked in for a couple of years. And he still his points per game has not been bad the past couple of years. So that's why a lot of teams are inquiring about Connor Garland. But now you're seeing the shift to Brock Besser because they don't want to lose him for nothing uh, when it comes to that time. So um, they want to get something for him, and they can get something for him this year. And the Devils are one of those teams that have the picks, they have the prospects, and they have the players that they can trade off now and really rebuild their team going forward. So... Comment below what you think about this. Do you think the New Jersey Devils should give up all of that for Brock Besser? Is Brock Besser worth it to acquire and to restructure a new contract going forward? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. It's free. Thank you all. Have a great day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.